For more on this, let's bring in Adam Bowler, the negotiator of the, a negotiator, I should say, of the historic Abraham Accords that normalized relations between Israel and several of its Arab neighbors in this volatile Middle East. So, Adam, how do you, just, you know, top of mind, what is your assessment of this attack by Hamas on Israel today? I think first and foremost, the American people should understand that this is not border towns that are being attacked. This is central Israel. So that is the equivalent of New York being attacked. Uh, and I would liken this a little bit to Israel's 9-11. So you'd reflect on this. This is a big attack. This is men, women, and children being pulled out of cars, taken hostage. So this is a huge deal. Um, so that's first and foremost. The second thing I'd say is, this doesn't happen if Iran isn't behind it pushing it right now, and that's what you're seeing. So Israel obviously is going to respond at the Gaza Strip. Uh, do you foresee any kind of response directly at Iran? Uh, I don't think Israel will attack Iran directly, but I think Iran's behind this forcing it. So I think what's going to happen now is Israel's going to respond with the full force of its military might, like it absolutely should, and the United States should stand aligned as this happens over the next days and weeks. This isn't going to be an easy path, but Israel is going to do what it needs to do to defend its own borders. At the same time, we should recognize this may expand out past this. It may expand out to Lebanon, because Iran is behind that, too. Um, and so I think you'll see a proxy war happening here uh, between Iran, Israel, and countries that are supporting peace versus terrorists. We mentioned that you were one of the architects of the Abraham Accords that, um, uh, you know, presage perhaps peace uh, between Israel and some of its Arab neighbors. Iran clearly doesn't like that. Are, are the um, Abraham Accords perhaps in part responsible for what's happening today? The Abraham Accords, when we worked on them and signed them, form protection against that. And we were very serious about Iran and what was let through from a financial perspective and what would happen if there was any disruption. And so that protected against it. I think a lot of the timing that you're seeing right now has to do with two things. One is relaxed sanctions on Iran, so they built up more of a financial war chest. And number two, Saudi Arabia has indicated that they're interested in normalizing with Israel. This is Iran's opportunity to try to disrupt Saudi Arabia from normalizing with Israel, and we can't let that happen. And all right, so if, if um, Iran is really pulling all of the strings here, what would you tell the White House about dealings with Iran from this day forward? So two things I'd say is stop dealing with them, cut off their money right away. Number two, stand steadfast in your support of Israel, and other Arab countries will rally over time. Uh, and so that's what I think needs to happen. I think the relaxing of sanctions on Iran, dollars going into Iran, that has to stop, and it has to be clear it will stop right now. And the United States has to be very strong in its support. What's going to happen over the next few days is as Israel responds, you're going to have a lot of people talk about civilian casualties, because there, there are going to be some because of how Hamas operates. We need to be very clear in our support here. Right, because uh, Hamas will make, uh, make videos, probably, of every single civilian casualty that it probably that it can and, and try to broadcast them to the world. Adam Bowler, we appreciate 100%. your insights. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.